Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to prescribe flow boundary condition in a simulation. We're going to start with our mesh folder here, and then we're going to open the CV pre file because we need to set a few things here. So basically, um, for any surface that you want to prescribe a flow boundary condition, you would need to have lines um, describing the surface. And so the, in your mesh surfaces, um, you would put the face that you want to prescribe the flow condition with this line prescribed velocity and then you will use the MBC file and then for any surface that you want you want to prescribe a pressure boundary condition or a resistance you would um, use the zero pressure uh, line and then you would set it to a, the EBC file the corresponding EBC file and so in this simulation I have four outlets and then I want to set two of them to flow and two of them to pressure and so um, that's how I would set the CV pre. So once you have that, then you could go ahead and um, make your Geom BC and restart using the pre solver. Okay. So this will tell the simulation um, what it wants to do. Um, what boundary condition to look for at the different faces. Okay, so I've got my Geom BC and my restart generated, and then I'm gonna just gonna copy them into my simulation files here. So here's an old simulation I have that was running on pressure boundary conditions, but I want to add flow, so I need to replace um, the Geom BC and the restart. Okay, so so that's the first step and then the next thing that we're going to do is um, we we need an additional file that's called the bct.dat now this file contains information about the flow velocities that's going across your outlet the outlet that you want the to prescribe the flow and the way that we're going to generate this bct.dat is um we're, we're also going to do this in our mesh folder. So what you need to do is you need to uh, create a file for any surface um, that you want to prescribe flow. You need to create a file to tell um, this to that describes your flow waveform. And so in this file, the format of the file is that you have two columns. The first column is your time. So here's time zero, time 0 0.02 seconds, and so on. And and here. Um, the second column is your flow rate at each time. And so remember that um, in, as, as far as the simulation is concerned, any flow that's going out of the model is positive, but flow entering the model is negative flow. And so if we, if we want the inflow that comes into the model, then all the flow uh, would be negative. And so this file should contain basically one cycle of data. And so in this case, I, I'm going from 0 to 0.5 seconds, which means I'm operating at a heart rate of 120 beats per minute. So this is one cardiac cycle. So um, if you have multiple flow rates uh, that you want to prescribe to different surfaces, you can just save them um, as different files that, that we're going to use um, to generate the bct.dat. So once you have your flow file, um, we're going to go into SimVascular. Okay, so the way that we're going to generate the bct.dat is we're going to go to boundary conditions and here's how you would generate the bct. And so first of all, you can choose the shape of your inflow profile. Usually we use Wormersley or parabolic. Um, either one is, is okay. Wormersley is a little more, um, I, I suppose, complicated, um, but more realistic. Um, so you could choose either one. And then you need to load your solid model so find your solid model and then you need to remember click load after you browse for it otherwise it won't work okay so and then here you want to uh, put in the face that you want to prescribe the flow so I'm gonna start with the IVC and then and then you would open the flow rate file so the flow waveform that you want to prescribe to this face so f in this case I want to prescribe flow rate 1 to this face and then period 
um, this is the, how long your period is and so in this case mine is 0.5 seconds and then you need to I mean these viscosity and density I don't think it does anything but just for safety's sake uh, I would just make sure that they're consistent with the unit system that you're working with in your simulation but I don't think it really does anything and then the face name is so here's IVC um, I don't think this really does anything either but I would just make it the same as your as your VTK file okay and then number of period is one don't change that the number of points in period um, 100 is okay uh, if you want to make the file smaller you can use a s smaller number I don't know why I have they have 101 but I'm just gonna put 21 here um, the number of Fourier modes uh, if your flow waveform is really complicated you 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 know you could use a high number but 10 is, is quite enough uh, you probably don't need 10 but it doesn't really matter you can leave it as 10 okay so um, and and here's the name of the file that you want to create and so if you only have one inflow surface, so so ultimately what you want to end up with is a file that's called bct.dat. So if you only have one surface, then you should just create a surface that's called bct.dat, and then you can use that directly. But since we have two inflow surfaces, um, we're going to have to create two of these and then combine them into one file. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to name it something different so we can combine it easy, easily later. So bct one dot dat and now you click on this button and then now it's doing the calculation to create the bct file. Okay, so now it's done that. It's right here, bct one dot dat And then now I'm going to do my other face, which is the SVC. And then I'm going to use the flow waveform for the SVC, which is in my flow 2. And then uh, everything else is the same. I'm going to change this name to BCT2 so that it doesn't overwrite the first file. OK, so now it's created these two BCT files. OK, so we're done with Symbascular here. So now what we want to do is, since we have two of these, we need to combine them into one. And so uh, we have a script that's called BCT Merge. You could download it with this video. So I, co I just copy the script into this folder. Um, and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to run this script. And then since I have two files, um, I'm going to type two so that it knows it's merging two. And that's it. And so, so now I've run the script and it's created this one bct dot dat file and so I'm just gonna drag this file into my simulation folder and so this is the additional file that you need for the inflow boundary condition now the last thing that you need to do is you need to uh, make sure that your solver is set correctly and so um, the thing that needs to happen for solver when you're using an inflow condition is that you need to make sure these two lines exist the time varying boundary condition from file set to true and then the BCT time scale uh, set to one and so it was commented out before so I, I just uncommented them um, and then the rest of the BC the rest of the solver file is the same as um, as before how you would set them before the number of coupled surfaces uh, the inflow surfaces do not count as a coupled surface so since I have four surfaces two of them are inflow two of them are pressure so I now I only have two um, coupled surfaces left and so I'm just gonna uh, change the other just make sure you know your the rest of your solver file is, is consistent with what you're trying to run and so um, you've after you've finished editing your solver file um, that's pretty much it um, you have everything you need to run a, f a simulation with flow boundary